Welcome to this demo of the Dynaway add-on functionality tool grip, which is a part of Advanced Asset Management for D365 Finance and Operation. So Toolcrop gives us the functionality to handle tools within Asset Management. And if we go to Asset Management, we can now see that we have the menu Toolcrop, which has two menu items, all tools and the tool handout and return. But to use Toolcrop, it requires that you set up which asset types you want to handle as tools. So if we go to our asset types, you can see here that we now have the option to check if we want to handle um, this asset type as tools. So we decided that we want to handle our drills as tools and our grinders as tools. So this is uh, the setup that you need, need to do beforehand. But let me show you the all tools menu. If we go in here, we have the overview of all our tools and we have a lot of information you can get from here. You can see the asset ID, the name, you can see the asset type, and also the tool has a um, different state where you can see if the tool is available, if it is in use, who is using it right now, or is it if it's failed and not available. Also, you can see the make and model, functional location, and so on. So here you have an overview of all the information. What you can do is that you can mark a tool and then you can see the tool history. So here we have an overview of everything that has happened on this tool. Um, here we ha also have a tool filter. So I can search for all my tools in use. So here we have an overview of all the tools that is in use right now. You, we can also use this filter to search for a certain asset, asset type, and so on. So this is where we have the great overview. But the main functionality lies within our tool, handout, and return. So here you could have a desk where people come and either pick up or return the tool. And you could have a scanner that scans the employee ID and the tool if you have barcodes on the tool. Otherwise, you can do it manually. So I just want to loan a tool. What I do is that I just put in my name. And now I have an overview of all the tools that I am using right now. But now I just want to borrow another one. I want to borrow my tool number, or my drill number eight. Yes. So now we can see here that the drill number eight is in use by me. Yes, and when we put the reset here, um, the system is ready to get new information in. So now I would go out and work and take my tool and use that. And when I'm done, I would come back to here uh, and return the tool. And it works the same way. We just need to put in our, our uh, name. And then put in the tool that we want to um, return. And when we return a tool, we now have a few options here. So we could choose that the tool is available and is just ready for handout again. If when we return it, it maybe needs an inspection, so it's not going to be available, but it doesn't need a work order. Or if it has failed and it's, there's something defect about the tool. And then we have the option here to create a work order. And here you can see that there is some default work order information that has put in. And this is actually something that we set up that I'll just show you um, in a bit. But now we can choose that, yes, I want to create a work order. And now we have the option to edit in the default work order uh, information. We could put another um, work order description, choose another work order type, service level, and so on. And here you can put in a description and just write um, what is defect about the tool, why it needs um, to be fixed. And then we can click OK. So now we can see that a new work order has been created for the tool and the tool is no longer in the state available. So this is the main functionality um, about the handout and the return. 
but I wanted to show you the a little bit about the setup. So if we go to our asset management parameters, we can go down to Toolcrypt, and here we have a lot of information we can set up. If we look here in the middle, you can see that this is actually the information we had when we tried to return our tool. Um, so this is something you edit here. You could edit the work order type, the maintenance job type. You can create another work order um, description and the service level. So this is the information that will be default on when we try to create a work order. Also, we have the option to choose a tool functional location and a, long, and a functional location for the tools that need repair. Now we just choose and it's the same, but you could make these different. And you could also set um, up your usage counter for the tool. And we have created one that counts one up for every time the tool has been used. So this is something you can set up as well. Yes. So uh, this was the demo of the Toolcrypt functionality that I wanted to show you today. And if you're interested in knowing more or have any questions, then please reach out to us on info at dynaway.com.